What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a quick Hackintosh tip for you. This episode is going to be all about iCloud. Now how many times have you guys restored you know, a fresh copy of OS X and you want to, you go to sign into iCloud and you see something that looks a little bit like this. I mean you've tried to put your password in like 400 times and you know you have the right credentials but it simply is not working. You also can't log into the App Store, I mean things like this always happen, you just don't understand what's happening. Well good for you guys, this is actually a pretty common issue. So this video is like I said going to be uh, showing you guys all about iCloud and how to fix this sort of thing. So it's not too hard of a process, so let's just go ahead and, and jump right into it. Now before I go any further into this tutorial, I want to say that I did not write this guide. Uh, I'm simply presenting this guide, so like I said, I didn't write it. It was actually uh, written up by my friend Terrell over at OnePlace4Tech.com, so go ahead and check that website out, 1P4T.co for short. Uh, tons of good tech stuff, tech articles, they even have a store up now, so be sure to check them out. But So um, thanks to Terrell, and let's go ahead and get back to this video. So in the description there is a link to a zip file, so go ahead and download that. And once you download and extract that, you should see this. This is a written form of the tutorial, and you also have EFI Studio, which you will be needing. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side for now. And the first thing you want to do is come up here and open up Preferences. So go ahead and go back here. And what you want to do is actually come in here and delete your network interfaces, so such as Ethernet. This will also work over Wi-Fi, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I will not be um, touching the Wi-Fi. So, but it would be the same process you simply delete both of these but I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete the Ethernet we're gonna apply and now we're done in preferences for now so now what you want to do is go ahead and go to the root drive your boot drive whatever you have OS 10 installed on you want to navigate to library preferences preferences not preference panes preferences scroll down to system configuration and open up network interfaces plist actually don't open it up simply delete it and once it's gone, you can simply empty the trash. Now, basically what that was is it tells OS 10, like like I said, your network interfaces. So uh, once you actually reboot the computer, it'll rebuild that file and everything will be hunky-dory again. So really don't worry about anything. So you can go ahead and close out of that. And now we're going to need that EFI Studio program. So we're going to open that up. And once this is open, we're going to change the device from Display to Ethernet. We're going to click Add Device. And we're going to go ahead and this little editor window, we're going to put that off to the side. Now what you want to do is come to that text document, and inside the text document, it'll probably look a little bit different than this, but there will be some sort of formatting that looks something like this. Now, if you don't know where this, you know, where you've seen this before, go ahead and open up your root of your, your drive, your boot drive, go in extra, and then open up the list. This is basically what Chimera reads from and makes things basically hunky-dory. Now what you want to do is copy and paste that right to the bottom. Go ahead and unlock the chameleon.plist uh, and go ahead and format it as such, you know, appropriately as you would seem think. So now it's all formatted and so uh, this big fun string of numbers and letters and stuff, go ahead and copy that and paste it right between here, the string. So now once you've pasted that, go ahead and save and now you can go ahead and reboot your machine. So now that you've restarted your machine, let's go ahead and head back into System Preferences here and back into the Network category. Now come down here to this little plus sign and re-add your, your Ethernet uh, adapter. Now right here it should just say Ethernet. If it has like an EN0 or an EN1 or anything after it, you probably did something wrong and you should try to redo what we just did. So it should just simply say Ethernet. So once you do that, go ahead and click Create, and then go ahead and click Apply. What you want to do before you get too excited is restart the machine again. Alright, so now that we've restarted the second time, it's now the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and open up System Preferences, come into the iCloud settings, go ahead and enter our Apple ID and password. And if I could get, you know, a drum roll or something that would be appreciated, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. And just like that, we're now into iCloud. And now if we want to come back to the App Store, move this over here, we'll come to Purchases, we'll go ahead and sign in and sign in and of course it would work as you would think so there we go we are now signed into iCloud and the App Store on a Hackintosh so there you guys go thank you very much for watching I hope this helped you guys like I said in the beginning this is a pretty common issue that I get questions about all the time so I hope this video helps you guys so once again thank you for watching I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter and I'll see you guys in my next video